What's burning? What's burning? What's burning with KB? It's time for What's Burning with Kevin KB Burns. Presented by Bill Lacasse and SRG Financial Advisors. But first, please join us as we honor our great nation with the playing of our national anthem. And now your host, Kevin K.B. Burns. Hey, K.B. here inviting you in to uh, join us for another rip-roaring, exciting, unbelievable episode of What's Burning here on Lake TV. Can you tell I'm excited? I sure am. Ike Skelton, the next presiding commissioner of Camden County, will join us. Also, Bradley Berg. This guy is involved in a little bit of everything, from the Beam Lighthouse to a new project in Max Creek to Lanai to Encompass Purpose. We'll find out about all of it. And our good friend, Mr. Larry Bennett, who used to work for the city of Camden. He is involved with the Vietnam Traveling Memorial Wall that will be in town just prior to the air show and will be on display at the Camden Memorial Lake Regional Airport. We'll also take time to uh, enjoy one of our furry friends this week. He's a big furry friend, but he's still furry and he needs a good home. Jackie Lee out there at uh, Ozarks Cat and Canine. We'll want to thank all of our sponsors, our title sponsor, SRG Financial Advisors, Ozark Barge and Dock, the good folks at Budget Blinds, our veterinary at the lake, and the official bottled water. Can you see that? It is the official bottled water of What's Burning from Culligan, Lake of the Ozarks. Stick around. What's Burning is next on Lake TV. While the financial services industry for years has focused on products, pricing, and performance, or things we refer to at SRG as the how, our focus for our clients has always been around their why. And without fail, over all these years, those whys have centered around family, occupation, and recreation. Think legacy issues, retirement, or achieving a work-optional lifestyle, and checking off those important things on that recreational bucket list. Our foundational approach remains a focus on the things that matter most to our clients and the things that together we can control. And where those two things overlap, that's where we live and work every day. That's SRG Financial and the Mile Marker Formula. Looking for blinds, shades, shutters, drapes, or bedroom makeovers? On a budget? You need Budget Blinds and Laurie. Bring your ideas to us or let our design consultants help you create the perfect look for your home. Because Budget Blinds is nationwide, our collective buying power enables us to search many major brands to bring you the blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes you want for less. Budget Blinds, call us for a free consultation. Budget Blinds, the best in custom blinds and window coverings. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. It was a code 10, hard water again. Worst part is Claire was unaware. Ah. <clears throat> hey, Culligan, our water makes my skin and hair feel like I'm 90. Okay, are you 90? I'm not. Okay, secondly, how do you feel about high-efficiency water softeners from Culligan Water? What? And thirdly, how do you feel about smoother skin and luxurious hair? Goodly. I feel very good about that. That's the power of water. Stay soft, right? <laughs> you stay soft. <clears throat> good water doesn't just come to you. Oh, wait. In this case, yes, it does. 
There's a new radio station at the lake. A radio station that's geared towards the community. A radio station where you can have a hand in what we do. Welcome to Key Radio, a community-based radio station that invites you to be a part of the solution. We encourage you to become a content creator. That's right, you provide the content. Listen in at 89.3 or online at keyradio.live. To find out more about becoming a content creator, call 573-280-0532. Hey, welcome back. It is What's Burning on Lake TV. KB here, along with the next presiding commissioner of Camden County, the one and only Ike Skelton. Hello. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good to be here. Congratulations. Appreciate that. I know it's been a while. Today is, uh, well, we're into uh, the end of the month of August, getting ready to go into September. So uh, has your blood pressure gone down? Has your heart <laughs> rate gone back to normal? How are you feeling? Yeah, I just feel fantastic. I'm just so... Um, so honored to have been given this job by the people of Camden County, and it's just, uh, it's fantastic. It's humbling, and, and I know that um, there's a lot of responsibility that's going to come with it. So, uh, But I'm ready to get going. It's going to be a long four months. <laughs> you garnered nearly 60% of the vote, 57%, yeah. and that's pretty amazing. And it I think was... that speaks volumes in terms of uh, what you did, because, boy, campaigns can be costly. Uh, they're, they're obviously very timely. Sure. But you were out knocking on doors, putting up signs, doing everything you needed to do. And they're showing up at candidate forums. Uh, of course, the one they had here on uh, Lake TV sure. as well. And we certainly appreciate that. We appreciate all the candidates who made the effort to get out and try to share their views as far as to how they would like to see uh, the change come about in Camden County. Ike will be sworn in on January 2nd. And so uh, what have you been doing up to this particular point, trying to get up to speed, I'm sure? trying to maybe sit in on some meetings, find out a little bit more about how the uh, whole process works. Yeah, and already been getting phone calls about various issues around the county right. that folks are concerned right. about. So uh, uh, just hang on. I, I can't do much about those until January, but uh, uh, but I appreciate the calls. Mm -hmm. um, just sitting on some budget meetings, starting to learn that process. That's one of the biggest things you know we have to do as a commission is, is uh, approve the budget, uh, analyze it and approve the budget. And uh, so we're looking at that. We're trying to squeeze some money out of things so that we can uh, uh, put more into road and bridge as sure. we talked about during the campaign sure. and I think we're going to be able to do that so um, uh, yeah so just getting and, and starting to introduce myself to folks and getting to know them and and how the process over there works it's going to be a it's going to be an interesting learning curve but uh, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge I, I really enjoy learning something new and uh, just diving into it and and, uh, and going for it so I think I'm gonna enjoy it I'm I, I think <laughs> I know one of the big uh, one of the things that you talked about considerably during your campaign, you've already touched on it, roads and bridge. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about that. When we're looking at the situation, uh, I think most people who traveled around the county know where the good roads are, obviously know where the bad mm -hmm. roads are. And then we have a lot of the, 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 the low water crossings that have been taking a hit. Yes. And every time we get uh, a torrential downpour, a gully washer, whatever you want to call it, those areas are always susceptible uh, as far as residents getting in and getting out. What do you think the focus needs to be at this particular point? Have you gone around, I'm sure you have, and talked to the road and bridge crew? Sure. And, and, and what are they telling you, and, and what are you finding out on your own? Well, it, um, it seems to be an awful lot about money. Mm. I mean, you can only stretch things so far right. uh, to accomplish things. Uh, I believe that, uh, as I said in the campaign and, and talking with some of those guys, training is going to be a very important. Um, you know, we, we focus a lot on blacktop because that's you know, a lot of what we have, but mm. there's an awful lot of rural roads and gravel roads in Camden County yes. that I think we need to also uh, work on because a lot of folks uh, live out that way. You know, we have, um, you know, out in the Climax Springs area and, Clim and Max Creek, you know, and, and down that way is, uh, still an awful lot of lake over there, and but most of that is joined by gravel roads. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, we have to focus on some of that. I want to look at getting our guys trained better, greater operators trained better, mm -hmm. and uh, just some training on other things. But uh, you know, it boils down to money, and we're trying to trying to come up with that the best we can and uh, see where we can, you know, with that new um, system that they've come up with that'll analyze what blacktop roads are in the worst condition, uh, we can now put together a plan, and, and I've already asked the guys to start looking at a plan, uh, kind of a one, three, and a five-year uh, type of idea that we want to get into and see how we can keep on line with those. Um, you know, we have a lot of different... Uh, 
the conditions in a rural community like this versus a city. Uh, that is, you have all blacktop there, you know, mm -hmm. for the most part, it's almost all blacktop. Right. So you only really have one type of uh, structure to deal with, one type of surface to deal with, and you, sure. can, you can throw all of your focus in on that. And of course, here in Camden County, we have to be able to work on both. We've got to be able to deal with the gravel, and we have to be able to deal with the blacktop. So, um, you know, we just need to look at how we're doing things, maybe, and, uh, and refocus some energies. How about the resources available? And also, uh, when I talk resources, how are we set equipment-wise? Are we where we need to be? Uh, is there going to, at some point, be that uh, need to address uh, the equipment to get the job done properly? Sure, there's definitely some equipment needs. Um, and, you know, resources are always an issue when it comes to anything you're doing. It doesn't matter whether it's at home or in a government. You know, what you can or can't accomplish depends on what type of resources you have to draw from. Uh, so that is a, is a big concern. Uh, I don't know the numbers. I've started looking at some of them, but compared to a lot of other counties, especially first class counties, we spend very little on our roads compared to an awful lot of the other ones. So um, we need to look at where we can come up with some funds and uh, where we can, uh, you know, I hate grants. Everybody hates grants, but at the same time, uh, they take our money first. Mm -hmm. So if we can get some of that money back and use it on our roads and infrastructure, that's what I intend on doing as well. Obviously, you need a good grant writer there too. Somebody yep. that's uh, well uh, versed in uh, in the language and, and preparing those grants mm -hmm. properly. So uh, when they get in front of the people they need to get in front of, uh, you know. They're going to get approved. They're, they're that's get right. Exactly right. Yeah, and I want to look at that a more of a... Uh, uh, more of an in-house type of grant writing situation too. Right now, from what I understand, uh, it's farmed out in a couple of different areas. Mm -hmm. The Council of Local Governments helps with that and some others. So I want to look at maybe getting more of those things in-house uh, so that we have direct, um, I use the word control, but we mm -hmm. have direct uh, direct input on what's happening. You know, direct like access. Yes, there you, go. there you go. That's a good term. Um, and you were very big on your campaign as well in the campaign process about implementing people uh, that exist within the yes. county, uh, county yes. government, and mm -hmm. also uh, people that are living here at the lake that may be able to add some additional input. Uh, so again, to kind of keep that uh, money that's going out staying in a uh, house and being able to utilize it for, for things that are important. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. You know, uh, we've talked uh, about the master plan and some other things, and it seems a lot of times we either, you know, the current Uniform Land Use Code was written by a local attorney, and, and uh, I've, I've quipped that I think it was probably written for attorneys as well. Yeah. So uh, there are things that we can look at that way, and, and again, like you just mentioned, you know, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, oh, the whole area, Camden County, has a wealth of intelligence mm -hmm and experience and and just knowledge depth and, and various career uh, uh, places that people have been. And uh, I, I've already been contacted by folks that want to help, you know. Hey, this is what I've done in my private life with Road and Bridge. I worked for MoDOT, what have you. You know, let us know when you want to come together and see how we can help build things better. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I th and I think the people are looking forward also to um, a network that is going to accomplish some good things. Do you feel comfortable giving out a number or a website at this point if people would like to take a little time before you're sworn in to meet with you and, and share some of that experience? Well, you can contact me at my shop. Uh, I will have a, a, a cell phone, I guess, from the county, and then sure. people will have that eventually, you know. But uh, you can definitely contact me through my business number and through the shop. And that number is? Uh, it's 573-346-7375. Got a couple of minutes left here. Let's just touch on the master plan because I know this is something that uh, is, is going to be addressed, possibly rewritten. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you have in terms of experience there? Are you learning as you go? or <laughs> Well, me personally, work? I'll be honest, I have no experience on uh, writing a master plan or right. coming up with one. I've looked at some. Uh, what I do know about master plans is that a lot of them are just cut and paste from other communities, other cities uh, that maybe fit fine for those areas, but I don't think they're going to fit as well right. for our unique community. So, um, And what I also know is an awful lot of the language that is used in master plans these days uh, tends to send us down a path uh, of, uh, of the sustainable development and all these other things that, that um, you know, you can argue about, but maybe some of it isn't quite as uh, good as it, as it needs to be. So we really, really need to focus on Camden County and what's going to be good for the people of Camden County. Do you have about, uh, well, uh, somewhere, uh, I don't know how long you're looking at, but maybe a time frame that you're trying to develop when it comes to the master plan, sitting down, analyzing mm -hmm. it, and... Uh, 
and, 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 and readdressing it, rewriting it. Yeah, sure. So for several months, uh, as when we get in office, it's going to be uh, you know just trying to feel things out and find out. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do is start doing a lot of knee-jerk reactions to things right. and just start a lot of uh, you know decision making and, and let's go do this, go do that without analyzing what we're going to do and make sure, sure that it's the right way. So I'd figure for at least the first six months, I'm going to be feeling out what's happening and get mm -hmm. an idea which way we want to go. And then once we actually put things in place, I mean, it could take six months to a year to really sit down and do it the right way. Because yeah. uh, I mean, it's going to be a volunteer, a volunteer board and, and you know, everybody's got their time that they have to do and uh, with other things in life. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. He is uh, the next presiding commissioner of Camden County. His name is Ike Skelton. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much for you. making yourself available, which will be easy now. Maybe <laughs> not so much so down the road. Yeah, okay. But well, uh, we'll... if you need to get in here and talk with us or, uh, you know, we reach out to you, come well, on I, by. I greatly appreciate that. And to everybody out there, I want to have an open door policy. You know, um, yeah, I'm going to be busy, but I also want to be available to everybody. And I hope that we can do this every now and again to give sure. folks updates on things. We'll do it Thank uh, you. quarterly, however uh, the, uh, sure. it works out and fits into the schedule. Folks, we uh, have got more coming up, a lot more coming up, including uh, a conversation with uh, Larry Bennett a little bit later on about this uh, traveling Vietnam wall that is coming to the Lake of the Ozarks uh, uh, in about a week or so. And we'll tell you more about that, plus uh, KB's Furry Friends. It's all coming up right here as What's Burning on Lake TV continues. Enjoying What's Burning with KB right here on Lake TV? Have questions, comments, or suggestions? Have an interesting story for KB to tell? Or maybe you want to be interviewed by KB on the show or interested in sponsoring? All you have to do is reach out to KB at kb at mylaketv.com. While the financial services industry for years has focused on products, pricing, and performance, or things we refer to at SRG as the how, our focus for our clients has always been around their why. And without fail, over all these years, those whys have centered around family, occupation, and recreation. Think legacy issues, retirement, or achieving a work-optional lifestyle, and checking off those important things on that recreational bucket list. Our foundational approach remains a focus on the things that matter most to our clients and the things that together we can control. And where those two things overlap, that's where we live and work every day. That's SRG Financial and the Mile Marker Formula. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Want a doc that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a doc that's different from the usual doc? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. There's a new radio station at the lake, a radio station that's geared towards the community, a radio station where you can have a hand in what we do. Welcome to Key Radio, a community-based radio station that invites you to be a part of the solution. We encourage you to become a content creator. That's right, you provide the content. Listen in at 89.3 or online at keyradio.live. To find out more about becoming a content creator, call 573-2800-532. Looking for blinds, shades, shutters, drapes, or bedroom makeovers? On a budget? You need Budget Blinds and Lorry. Bring your ideas to us, or let our design consultants help you create the perfect look for your home. Because Budget Blinds is nationwide, our collective buying power enables us to search many major brands to bring you the blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes you want for less. Budget Blinds. Call us for a free consultation. Budget Blinds. The best in custom blinds and window coverings. KB back on What's Burning on another outstanding day at the Lake of the Ozarks. And uh, I've got a gentleman with me here today. His name is Bradley Berg. And he is the James Brown of the Lake of the Ozarks. And why do I say that? Because 
The man has a hand in just about everything from uh, the Beam Lighthouse to Encompass Purpose to Lanai to you name it. And I'm sure there's probably a few things I left out along the way, but it's great to have you with us, Brad. Thank you. Great to see you, sir. And uh, uh, why don't we talk about Encompass Purpose? Because that is uh, kind of something that you've been a big part of. Uh, you've got uh, a book that you've put out regarding Encompass Purpose. Let's talk a little bit about uh, that aspect of what you do and uh, let folks know that uh, I guess if they need a little life coaching or what have you, you can help them out. Well, we're pretty excited about that. We have uh, 8,000 square feet we're redoing out in Max Creek. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing the coaching and the counseling, but then we're going to be doing a more holistic approach too where so it's mind body and soul so we're real excited about and so are a lot of people mm -hmm. i'm really excited about having a wellness center at the lake with the capacity we'll have there i think it's interesting because you mentioned mind body and soul and a lot of times when we think of counseling we think basically of the mind you know uh, what kinds of issues are you dealing with how can people get help for those issues but uh, you know it all kind of goes back to the body and to the soul, so you encompass all three of those, nice use of the word, <laughs> and uh, you, can, you, you can really work on someone, as they would say, completely and totally. Right, and, and that's so important. If you work on just your body mm -hmm. and not your mind, or vice versa, mm -hmm. it, it'll help, but it won't help encompass everything. Right. It, and so it really does help to do the whole package and complete everything. It would be like, if you compare it to fixing your car, if you mm -hmm. fix your engine and not your transmission, you still might not move anywhere. Exactly. So if you fix it all, then you're in good shape. So. You are in good shape. And we talk about the counseling aspect, I guess, for the mind. What do you do for the body and what do you do for the soul? Well, there's a lot with uh, healthy eating. You know, you can do a lot just by eating the proper things. And we've talked a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. You can either fill your body full of vitamins or you can eat properly, you know, and by eating properly, you're getting them vitamins. And it makes you feel so much better doing that. And I mean, look at you from just how long ago to now Arnold Schwarzenegger. So stop it. And uh, <laughs> so, I mean, you you really do feel better. I mean, just waking up, you feel better, yeah. you know, in the energy level and everything else. And then you can go into the, if you, chronic aches and pains and stuff you can do um, the acupressure and reflexology and things like that to help some of that stuff along with sometimes you know there's good places for medication but sometimes you can complement that too. Now you've got this uh, new facility in uh, Max Creek that you've been working on at a fever pitch Tentatively, when do you hope to open the doors? The 21st of next month is our uh, ribbon cutting. Okay. And uh, so we're hoping at the 21st we'll be ready to go. And in the meantime, of course, I'm seeing people at the Beam and mm -hmm. other locations like that. Right. Let's uh, move on a little bit to uh, the Lake Area Needs Initiative. Did I get that right? Is it, right. It's like a well, local needs? area needs local. initiative. Okay, yeah. And, and so you need uh, a little help once in a while, maybe paying a bill. Uh, maybe again, you need a little advice or a little counseling. Maybe you're having trouble uh, finding a job. These are all things that uh, folks can uh, can help uh, or get help with from Lanai. Yeah, and we help people daily with different things: utility bills, you know, maybe a car repair, mm -hmm. and the rental, and then a lot of skills. Um, and I know we've both talked how that's important, not just to give handouts, but hand up. Sure and help people so that they can learn to self-sustain so they don't need it you know, every month. And I say this in the nicest way possible. It's not like you don't want people to come back, but you kind of don't want people to come back if they get the help that they need, let's say financially with a utility bill, or as you said, uh, some sort of uh, auto repair, uh, then you basically take that and say, now here's how you can make this happen for yourself down the road. And do you offer training? Do you offer uh, just counseling or conversation? How does that work? Well, a lot of skills training, and that's going to very much, I was in a meeting last uh, week, and that's going to very much ramp up with, 
the new news about the beam. Mm -hmm. So COMC is going to start a whole bunch of different programs for life skills, for job skills, and uh, different career opportunities, things like that. And so I guess that uh, can kind of help us transition into the Beam Lighthouse on the Bagnell Dam Strip, which uh, is a, a great facility. I've used it myself, folks, and uh, if you need uh, somebody to sit down and talk with, if you need to get help with uh, drug or alcohol addiction, uh, and, and we'll be talking about that in the future, but uh, certainly this is a great place to go. It is a drug-free, alcohol-free environment for not only people who need help, but uh, their families as well. Well, right, and what we're doing now with COMC is going to be taking over the facility, and so it'll bring a lot of qualified people in to help with a lot of different areas that we weren't able to help with before. Mm -hmm. We're real excited, and I think it's going to be a huge, huge asset for the lake. We know that uh, Lydia Porter and her husband David were involved in that. Yeah. And I spoke with Lydia, and I guess uh, she's going to be moving on to uh, do some other things. Still involved in the community as much as she was before. I don't think she'll ever give up uh, on, on helping out the community in some way, shape, or form. But you mentioned the Central Ozarks Medical Center. That uh, is uh, who's going to be stepping in now. And I know that the uh, board was over at the facility not too terribly long ago looking it over, sitting down and talking about it, and then getting ready to uh, uh, invest the time and effort and the personnel, as you said, necessary in order to make this thing uh, just even bigger than it already is. Yeah, and I think it'll be such a wonderful thing to be able to have access to the medical professionals, mm -hmm. you know, and also just the other professionals COMC has, and it kind of bringing the beam up on steroids yeah. in a way, you know, just really ramping it up in a very big way in a very big hurry. So, Now, if you don't mind, <clears throat> share your story a little bit with us because I know uh, you've come a long way. Uh, you've got, uh, what, a PhD or two, and uh, uh, you've worked in, uh, in, in, in bettering yourself because I think at some point we all kind of hit that low spot, myself included, and we have uh, seen a need and, uh, and really explore the possibilities of, of, of getting ourselves out of that hole and, and bringing ourselves up to a point where we feel comfortable, where we feel like a good uh, functioning human being again, but it takes some work. Well, right, and I guess it gets back to what we were talking about before. I actually quit drinking when I was 28, right. but I was still able to have my life a mess. Mm -hmm in some way or the other. Sure. I might have had a successful uh, career in business, but you're always searching for something and just not making good decisions. And so when it came to a point, and it was a low point, um, where I wanted to discover more and I, I found God and I also found my passion for learning about the mind and body. Mm -hmm. And then things sent me back to school for years. And it's a path where we still, no, everybody messes up daily. Sure. But uh, yes, you, you can reflect on that and improve yourself every day, and that's what I'm about. I still go to school, you know, after all these years, I go to school 10 to 14 hours a week, every week. Wow. And that's just to learn more about, it's amazing what we do, what our mind does, what our body does. And we're very complicated, and it's like you can learn and learn and learn, and the more I learn, the less I know, if you know what I mean. So, Bradley Berg is also a, a huge contributor, and I want to thank you for uh, being a part of Key Radio, something that I'm involved with, something that you've been involved with, with the Beam and Encompass Purpose, and you've talked to a lot of really inspirational people. But before we wrap things up, what is the most rewarding aspect of what you do when you look back and obviously the education and, and getting yourself uh, to be at the point where you want to be, what else does Bradley Berg consider as far as something rewarding, something that you really enjoy? Well, it would be when I actually get to make a difference in somebody's life or help them make a difference, mm -hmm. really. I mean, it can be on the coaching side. I've helped people go from 25000 to 250000 in a year. Dollars, that is. Right. <laughs> and then I've uh, helped people that were living on a loading dock with uh, meth addiction mm -hmm. as now a foreman of a welding shop and very successful. That's the success stories I love is when people help themselves and bring themselves up. Lanai, 
the Beam Lighthouse Encompass Purpose, anything that we left out? Not Well, Goodfellas, but my daughter kind of runs that now, so. Very good. <laughs> Well, if you need uh, the help, it's out there. And uh, just again, uh, maybe you want to put some information on uh, out to people how they can uh, can find you, and uh, if they want to know more, or if uh, maybe they have uh, a friend or a family member that could uh, use uh, a little help as well. Yeah, you can call me at five seven three two eight six five six two five, and then Lanai, the Beam, and Encompass are all on Facebook, of course, and. That's probably the easiest way instead of giving out all the separate web addresses. Sure, so. absolutely. Bradley Burke, thank you so much for your time, sir. It's thank great you. to see you. And uh, you folks stick around. We've got a heck of a lot more coming up right here on What's Burning on Lake TV. While the financial services industry for years has focused on products, pricing, and performance, or things we refer to at SRG as the how, our focus for our clients has always been around their why. And without fail, over all these years, those whys have centered around family, occupation, and recreation. Think legacy issues, retirement, or achieving a work-optional lifestyle, and checking off those important things on that recreational bucket list. Our foundational approach remains a focus on the things that matter most to our clients and the things that together we can control. And where those two things overlap, that's where we live and work every day. That's SRG Financial and the Mile Marker Formula. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Looking for blinds, shades, shutters, drapes, or bedroom makeovers? On a budget? You need Budget Blinds and Laurie. Bring your ideas to us, or let our design consultants help you create the perfect look for your home. Because Budget Blinds is nationwide, our collective buying power enables us to search many major brands to bring you the blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes you want for less. Budget Blinds. Call us for a free consultation. Budget Blinds. The best in custom blinds and window coverings. There's a new radio station at the lake, a radio station that's geared towards the community, a radio station where you can have a hand in what we do. Welcome to Key Radio, a community-based radio station that invites you to be a part of the solution. We encourage you to become a content creator. That's right, you provide the content. Listen in at 89.3 or online at keyradio.live. To find out more about becoming a content creator, call 573-280-0532. Welcoming you back on this uh, awesome episode of What's Burning on Lake TV. Just a quick reminder, if you have uh, got ideas, thoughts, opinions for the show, reach out to me, kb at mylaketv.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you have uh, a friend or a neighbor, maybe you've got uh, some kids in the neighborhood. We're always looking for young guns doing cool and creative things, uh, young entrepreneurs making money. Again, kb at mylaketv.com. Larry Bennett is here. Larry Bennett. Larry Bennett, who said, you know, what was it, uh, last year that you were going to retire? You were working for the city of Camden, heading up Parks and Rec, and, uh, you know, we would talk chili cook-off, and we would talk uh, having the dogs come out the final day that you had the pool open in the city, mm -hmm. and we would talk about uh, uh, the various uh, festivals and get-togethers and gatherings and all the cool stuff. And then Larry drove off into the sunset. I'm like, no, I'm never going to see this guy again. Lo and behold, <laughs> out of the blue, Larry contacted me about uh, being a part of this great event, the Vietnam Traveling Memorial Wall, which is going to be coming into the Lake of the Ozarks area uh, per a very awesome escort starting on Thursday, September the 8th. It will end up at the Camdenton Memorial Lake Regional Airport on the 8th, 9th, 10th, and Sunday the 11th in 
uh, conjunction with a run for the fallen, which is uh, a huge event as well. But uh, this is a labor of love that was put together by people who want Vietnam veterans that are alive to remember their brothers and sisters that lost their lives, certainly families, and people that just need a little reminder about what the Vietnam War was all about. And to be right. able to bring something like this into the area is truly amazing. And this is the second time that we've had it here, a couple of years ago at the air show. Correct. And then prior to uh, the air show again this year, uh, opening ceremonies on Thursday evening. It's going to be a fun time. Let's talk about it. Right. Uh, well, first of all, we want to thank uh, the veteran group uh, groups throughout the Lake of the Ozarks because Absolutely. They're, they're the ones who actually uh, are funding this for the second time. Mm -hmm. um, it was a success the first time, but they got so much feedback that people uh, weren't able to come in and see it, even though it was here four days, right. that they felt uh, they wanted to try to bring it back again. Um, in conjunction with the air show, if that was okay with the air show committee, and of course it was. And so uh, I spoke with uh, Terry Rica of, of the VFW here in Camdenton, and he said uh, they've about got all the money collected. They've got uh, donations um, secured, and mm -hmm. they just need to pick up a couple more checks. So thanks again to all the veterans organizations hey, for making this possible. Very true, very true. This is, um, it's got a lot of history behind it, obviously. This is the uh, replica of the actual uh, wall, the Vietnam Wall in Washington, D.C. that people can visit, right? Correct. And uh, what's interesting about this is there is so much time and effort put into it. And I spoke with Doc Russo. Doc is a gentleman that uh, travels with the wall, takes it all over the country. And uh, he is, it has a very special place in his heart. And, and I could not see, <clears throat> excuse me, how anybody could not see something like this and be touched um, emotionally and mentally, and especially if you knew someone who served in Vietnam, who lost their life in Vietnam. It's just such an amazing tribute, and to be able to take it all over the country is even more amazing. And, you know, like a lot of things, you know, we're looking at gas prices these days. That's a, a pretty big rig that he has, and the trailer that uh, he has to uh, transport the wall itself so, it, yeah, it costs a little bit of money to make this thing happen. Right. Um, but you're, you're absolutely right about Doc, too, and he travels with a gentleman named Lucky, who is also a Vietnam veteran. Don't um, forget Lucky. No, he's, he's a big part of this as well. That's correct. And uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is emotional. Uh, first time I saw it, um, even I got a little teared up to take sure. a look at it. Sure. It's about 200, 288 feet long, and it's an exact replica of, of the memorial in Washington, D.C. There mm. are two of these in the United States. Actually, two different organizations uh, operate them. But, um, yeah, Doc travels all over the United States. He enjoyed uh, the way that we displayed it last time. He mm. enjoyed uh, the reverence we had for it. Um, which is a big part of whether or not he'll actually come back to your area or not. And so when we asked him to come, he said, absolutely, we loved our time there and we'd love to display it again mm -hmm. uh, there at the airport. So, uh, so again, it'll be there Thursday through uh, Sunday. On Friday, uh, as you know, the, the air show salute to the veterans. Uh, that's Veteran Days at, at the air show, mm -hmm. and we invite all the veterans to come out. They can see the wall. Uh, there will also be the axe wall will be coming in. They'll be warming up, so you'll be able to see some of the axe. Mm -hmm. uh, some World War, the World War II plane will be there again. Um, good day for the, for the veterans to come out if you uh, can't make it on Saturday, but uh, definitely uh, that is a day that we actually have a tribute to the, to the vets mm -hmm. on Friday. Um, Saturday, of course, the, the wall will be part of the air show. Um, the only thing on Saturday is because the air show has a fee of $10 for parking. If you come in uh, on Saturday, you will be required to pay that $10 fee. Other than that, it's free to see the wall uh, Thursday, Friday, and, um, and Sunday as well. As you said, it'll be there Sunday in conjunction with uh, the Run for the Fallen, which mm -hmm. has been done for a number of years now. Uh, I believe that starts at 9 a.m. Um, uh, and then again, we'll we'll take the wall down then on on Monday morning and send it on, send it on its way. Now, just for folks who don't know, the Run for the Fallen, it celebrates and remembers uh, the men and women who've lost their lives in uh, in the line of duty. And uh, people go out and they represent one, maybe two, sometimes three, four, five 
of these people, I think to the tune of about 160 is the number that I was told. Yeah. I'm and, uh, and, and you spend, uh, you know, you can walk a mile, you can run a mile, uh, just to help remember these people and, uh, you know, let their families and loved ones know that uh, they are certainly uh, never going to be forgotten. But uh, the wall itself, you've got a big tribute coming up for this as it comes into town on Thursday morning, September the 8th. Uh, let's talk about that. Right. Um, uh, Doc, um, the last time he came in, he, he called me, oh, a couple weeks ahead mm -hmm. and said, hey, once in a while, folks will actually have an escort to, to have it come into their area. Right. And, um, you know, something similar to the Patriot Guard that does the honor flights, things like that. Right. And we thought that might be a good idea if we could pull it together. So uh, we contacted a number of motorcycle groups in the area. Right. Uh, and we've done that again. We've, we actually contacted four this year, the Combat Vets uh, Motorcycle Association. We've got the VFW Riders. We've got the Christian Riders and um, the American Legion here in uh, Sunrise Beach. Sure, sure. Um, they're going to bring some folks too. Right now, we think we have an estimate of between 40 and 50 riders. That's incredible. The most important thing we want to do is let motorists know when we're going to be rolling through town, when the wall's coming in. So if you would give the times and the route. Sure. Uh, we're going to start at, at 10 a.m. from the Coles parking lot over in uh, Lake Ozark. And we'll, we'll travel, um, I guess that's east, uh, down the hill to the entrance ramp to 54 heading to Camdenton. We'll take that route on 54 all the way into the square in Camdenton, turn left, and we'll take 5-7 out to the Camdenton uh, Memorial Lake Regional Airport. Yes. Uh, the whole thing will probably take a half hour. We do have a police escort. Um, there aren't many places that are good to watch this, uh, but if you head into Camdenton all along 54 from Walmart uh, into the square and then down to perhaps the school or a little mm -hmm. farther on five, uh, you might get a good look. Uh, we are planning on uh, passing out some flags this time, little uh, American flags that people could, uh, could display and wave. Sure, sure. Uh, we're going to uh, put out uh, flyers to all the businesses along that route in Camdenton and, and drop off some flags, again, courtesy of the BFW um, to um, to try to get a little excitement going uh, as, absolutely. We, come in, as absolutely. we come in. Absolutely. It is going to be a very moving tribute. Take some time if you can, bring your family, bring your friends. And one of the neat things they do is they give you a, a piece of paper and a pencil, and they know where all the names are located, and they let you make a little stencil of that uh, as, a, as a remembrance. And I believe they're also taking donations. September 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, Camdenton Memorial Link Regional Airport. It is the Vietnam Traveling Memorial Wall. And Larry Bennett, uh, great to see you. Can we get one more thing in Just here real quick. quick. Okay. Uh, Thursday night, we didn't mention that there's going to be an opening ceremony uh, on Thursday night, 6 o'clock. Uh, KB is going to MC it, take about a half hour. We have a speaker mm -hmm. uh, from the Vietnam area. We'll talk about his experiences of Vietnam War and, and beyond. Um, and then we'll do uh, ribbon cutting. And from that point on, folks will be able to, uh, to visit the wall. Thank you, my friend. Genuine pleasure as always. Great to have him with us, Larry Bennett, and all of the folks involved in the donations, the whole process of bringing it in, setting it all up, uh, the escort, all of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Stick around. We've got more coming up. It is What's Burning on Lake TV. Enjoying What's Burning with KB right here on Lake TV? Have questions, comments, or suggestions? Have an interesting story for KB to tell? Or maybe you want to be interviewed by KB on the show or interested in sponsoring? All you have to do is reach out to KB at kbandmylaketv.com. While the financial services industry for years has focused on products, pricing, and performance, or things we refer to at SRG as the how, our focus for our clients has always been around their why. And without fail, over all these years, those whys have centered around family, occupation, and recreation. Think legacy issues, retirement, or achieving a work-optional lifestyle, and checking off those important things on that recreational bucket list. Our foundational approach remains a focus on the things that matter most to our clients and the things that together we can control. And where those two things overlap, that's where we live and work every day. That's SRG Financial and the Mile Marker Formula. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. 
Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. Looking for blinds, shades, shutters, drapes, or bedroom makeovers? On a budget? You need Budget Blinds and Laurie. Bring your ideas to us or let our design consultants help you create the perfect look for your home. Because Budget Blinds is nationwide, our collective buying power enables us to search many major brands to bring you the blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes you want for less. Budget Blinds. Call us for a free consultation. Budget Blinds. The best in custom blinds and window coverings. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. KB here at Ozark's Cat and K9 again for another edition of KB's Furry Friends. It is presented by our veterinary at the lake. I got to tell you, I was actually out there uh, this past weekend. I took the dog, Lightning, mm -hmm. Lightning, out to the dog park. And uh, he just loves the dog park, running around, being all free. And uh, if you're looking for the dog park, it's actually behind our veterinary at the lake there in uh, Lynn Creek in the industrial park. So. Go exercise your dog at the dog park. We've got uh, Mary Miami Tilly with us, and uh, today we have a cat that we would normally be holding, uh, <laughs> but it would it would possibly take two people to do that. It might. He's a little, uh, how shall we say? Large and in charge. Large and in charge. I was gonna say buff. But uh, we're talking about uh, Jackie Lee? Jackie Lee. Yeah, Jackie Lee is yeah. what kind of cat? Uh, he's a domestic short hair. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Jackie Lee originally came uh, into us around Christmas of 2018, okay. uh, part of a litter of kittens. He hasn't been here that long. No, though. he hasn't. You haven't been keeping him in the back room somewhere. <laughs> um, he got adopted out in February of 2019 to a very nice lady, and everything was going well until sometime within the last year, apparently she had an accident and fell and ended up in the nursing home. Uh, someone has been going over to the house to take care of Jackie in her absence, uh, but they recently discovered that she would not be returning home. Right. And so they contacted us to see about bringing him back. So this is kind of like a surrender? Uh, yeah. Uh, we do have, we have a policy. We are always glad to, as long as we have room, that if, you know, any time in the future any of our animals that get adopted, mm -hmm. if you cannot keep them for whatever reason, uh, we always want people to call us and see if sure. we have room and are able to take them back in so that we can find them a new home. Well, that's definitely a good policy to have because sometimes, uh, certainly in this case, it's not the animal's fault. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to find a good home for Jackie Lee, who's down here <laughs> trying so desperately not to get in the shot whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, Jackie Lee, uh, I, I don't want to offend him. He's right there. So I don't want to talk too loud. <laughs> Jackie Lee is uh, he is a big boy. He is a big boy. He's a little on the large side. Mm -hmm. And we do have, I mean, it, it, he's adorable, but we do have concerns about his health. When they get that big, it mm -hmm. can be dangerous sure. for him. So one of the first things we did when he came in was we started him on a weight management food, uh, which I, I've been told that he doesn't like it, he doesn't eat it, but every time I walk in this room, he's over at the bowl chowing down. <laughs> so I, 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 think he's, I think he's made his amends with it, and, and he's, you know, if this is what I'm getting, this is what I'm going to eat. Mm -hmm. um, the issue with his weight is that um, when cats get older and, and pack on those pounds, we've seen ones that will develop diabetes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, they can develop fatty liver disease, things like that. You know, it can affect their organs. So, you know, our goal is to try to get some of these pounds off of him and get him back to a healthy weight. I would think that just uh, for his just sure. for his safety. I would think that uh, if the cat gets injured in some way, shape, or form, it's going to be harder for them to recover from an injury like something on their leg or something, mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. it's it's tough to get all that up and moving in one direction. Right. right. Just like a human, an, an overweight human breaks their leg, it's harder to move around. Absolutely. because you've got those extra pounds you got to carry around right. with you. So, right. you know. Well, Jackie Lee is here, <laughs> and if you'd like to come by and uh, check him out, he would love for you to uh, get to be his friend, I <laughs> guess, uh, sometimes, as is the case. Maybe Jackie uh, Lee is a little partial to who uh, was raising him before, and so it'll, it'll take a little time. Yeah. Maybe. He is very friendly with humans, uh, but as far as we know, you know, he lived with a, a with a woman who was by herself with mm -hmm. just him. So we have no idea how he would be with another cat mm -hmm. or with dogs. Um, so it might be best for him, uh, just for his stress level and everything, uh, right. to be an only pet. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we <laughs> that we'll just take that on a case by case basis when we see you know who becomes interested in him. I'm, I'm kind of looking down. He's he's right <laughs> down here, by the way, just kind of chilling out, wondering what uh, we're doing invading his space. <laughs> I would say that uh, probably, yeah, a single. Uh, family situation, a single pet situation, because if you, <laughs> and I hate to say this about this poor guy, if you have multiple bowls, he's probably going to be helping himself. <laughs> true, true. So one other thing I do want to mention about Jackie is, um, and you know, we, we do have a policy when people adopt from us that you sign a, on your adoption paperwork that you will not get the cat declawed. And unfortunately, she did not follow that and he is declawed on the front. Uh, so that can, um, being declawed like that can cause issues with litter box and stuff, you know, as, as they age, um, you know, they get in the box and it doesn't feel right to them. Um, the thing about declawing is a lot of people believe that it's just, you know, basically, you know, that they're just taking off the nail mm -hmm. and they're not. It is the equivalent of on a human um, cutting the toe off at the first knuckle. Wow. So, you know, it, it, a lot of times, uh, depending on who did the procedure, you know, how well it was done and all that, uh, we've seen a lot of cases, or I've seen a lot of cases online, you know, sure, things like that sure. of, um, you know, bones being left behind mm -hmm. and, you know, there'd be like loose bones inside. So when they walk, that moves around and it hurts. Uh, so declawed cats can sometimes end up with litter box issues. Well, and, and obviously those claws are necessary <laughs> as a defense mechanism, so it's probably not a good idea if Jackie Lee is an outside cat. Either, Definitely. Right? Yeah, so. yeah. We would never want, an, well, want a declawed cat to be outdoors under any circumstances because they would not be able to defend themselves. Well, folks, if you'd like to come down and take a look at Jackie Lee or look at Jackie Lee online, you can do that courtesy <laughs> of the good folks at... Ozark's cat and canine right here in the Sunrise Beach area. Stop on by and uh, see Jackie, see all the other cats and dogs that they have available. And uh, again, uh, are you doing anything different as far as uh, Labor Day hours or anything like that? Uh, we will be closed to the public on Labor Day. Um, our staff will be here attending the animals as always, but the shelter building and the thrift store will both be closed for that Very day. Very good. Well, we uh, would love to find Jackie Lee a good home. <laughs> Even though he's got a bit of a weight problem, I think you could probably work that out with some uh, advice from the folks here at uh, Ozarks Cat and Canine. Certainly, our veterinary at the lake would probably have some uh, some good tips for you as well in order to slim him down a little bit. But he is a loving cat. He could use a good home, and maybe you are the right person. I want to thank, as always, uh, Mary Miami Tilly, the staff here at Ozarks Cat and Canine. And there he goes behind Megan. So uh, <laughs> he's not doing anything wrong. He's just kind of looking out the window. He's looking for somebody to come and adopt. And we also want to thank our veterinary at the lake for presenting KB's Furry Friends right here on Lake TV. <laughs> you 
Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. I'm Wild Will and this is Uncle Chris. For this week's Cup of Coffee, we'll talk about a record-breaking shootout weekend. And we got the big air show coming up. You're going to be talking to Corey Lewerke. That's right. Also, Hometown Heroes, very special one this week, so don't miss that. And you know what? It's football season now, so we'll talk a little football, too. Don't want to miss that. High school, college, and the NFL. Uncle Chris is ready to defend the title. That and a whole lot more on this week's Cup of Coffee from Summer in Hey everybody, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're getting ready for the last big weekend here at the lake, Labor Day weekend. And to match it, we have a Labor Day sale going on. Huge savings across the store. We have stuff ready to go. We have delivery teams ready to deliver to the whole lake area. So come see us at Slumberland Furniture where we're bringing happy home. Welcome to season number 10 of Great High School Football on Lake TV. COMC brings you great games between local rivals Friday nights this fall with pregame starting at 6.30 and kickoff at 7. September 2nd, it'll be Warsaw and Versailles. September 9th, Eldon home against the Tigers. On the 16th, Osage entertains Eldon. September 23rd, California home to Osage. And we'll close out September with Camdenton home against Bolivar. October 7th, Versailles entertains California. October 14th, Camdenton and Lebanon renew their heated rivalry. The last week of the regular season, it's Osage home to Versailles, and then come the playoffs. The COMC High School Football Game of the Week starting with the pregame show at 6.30 and kickoff at 7. Each game will have an encore showing the following Tuesday at 7.30. Here comes the 10th season of high school football on Lake TV. Hey, thanks so much for joining us right here on Lake TV for What's Burned. I want to thank all of our great sponsors, including our title sponsor, SRG Financial Advisors, Budget Blinds, Ozark Barge and Dock, our veterinary at the lake, behind our veterinary at the lake, they've got a killer dog park there in the Lynn Creek Industrial Park. Check it out. Make sure you take your dog because you look a little stupid just running around in the dog park by yourself. I don't know. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. And a big thanks to the official bottled water of what's burning Culligan Lake of the Ozarks. They can set you up with the water. They can come out and test your water. They can do it all. 573-346-5221. Thanks to all my guests and a little prelude to uh, next week. The one, the only Professor Jim Paisley, the true history professor, will be in to uh, take us through, obviously, some history and how it applies to the modern day. In the meantime, don't forget to catch us a new show every Thursday. It airs at 7.02 a.m., 5.02 p.m., and 11.02 p.m. It is What's Burning. Have a great week. We'll uh, talk to you again soon right here on Lake TV.